Hello everybody, Scott Sword here and welcome back to another game from the European League of the Spring Regionals competition for Fu Fury of Dracula. And this is the last game, well at least for me, there might be a couple of other games that are going to get played maybe tomorrow. This is Saturday 13th of May by the way, in case you're interested. So there might be some matches played later today or tomorrow or maybe there might be a couple of games next week that need to be finished. But for me, this is my final game. And uh, just before we start, I wanted to sort of explain the sort of the state of play in the league and just say a couple of things before the game gets started, because when the game starts, I'll be fully focused on that and not talking, you know, <laughs> bullshit. Um, so I'm playing against Mr. Green, I'm playing as the Hunters, Mr. Green's playing as Dracula. And um, so what's going to happen here is we've made the game private, but uh, Strider656 and maybe some other commentators are going to be watching the game live and they're going to be streaming it on Strider's channel. So what I'll do is, because this video is also going to come out after Strider's live stream, obviously, uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to hear Strider. And I, I, don't, know who, I don't know which commentators he's been able to get, um, so I, I won't say any names just in case I get them wrong, but you can check out the link in the description if you want to hear their perspective on the game. Um, and the state of play in terms of the league, very, very simple. The winner of this match wins the entire European League. That's how it's all boiled down to. Um, if some of you might have watched my game against Spencer, if you're watching this match against Mr. Green, I would assume that you've already watched the game against Spencer. Uh, if you don't want to know the result of the Spencer match, go quickly now to watch Spencer's the match with me against Spencer and then come back to this. Right, okay, I assume you've done that if you wanted to. Um, so basically the deal is I lost against Spencer. So the, the, the league is uh, as simple as this. Mr. Green and I have both played 15 matches. We've both got one more left, this one, and we've both won 13 games. So I am top of the league right now by virtue of having a much higher IDS. Um, I think it's about 50 points or so, more or less, give or take. But whoever wins this game is going to end up on 14 wins out of 16. The other person is going to be have 13 wins out of 16. So whoever wins this match right now wins the whole league. IDS is irrelevant for this, okay? So it doesn't matter. The margin of victory um, makes no difference. And also then the, the final IDS standings, right? If Mr. Green beats me, for example, um, his IDS will still be lower than mine. Doesn't matter. He got more wins than me. And that and that was the whole plan of this league anyway. Was the, the, the wins are the most important. The margin of victory is only important if you're tied with somebody for the number of wins. But if you've got more wins than somebody else... Doesn't matter if your score is lower or higher than them, you go above them, and that's the way it is. So we both know that. Um, I think Spencer might have told Mr. Green the result, so Mr. Green knows the situation. I know the situation, so we both know that whoever wins this match wins the whole thing. That's it. End of story. Okay? Um, so I think that's all my spiel done. Uh, well, yeah, no, the last thing I'm going to say is quickly before is um, there's a lot of things up for grabs, because if I beat Mr. Green... And if Spencer wins his final game, then Spencer might actually take second place. So it's actually really close to the top between all three of us, which is really impressive after so many matches. Um, but we've played against each other a lot recently over the past few months, so you know it kind of makes sense that we're sort of the three at the top. We've been playing a lot. Um, but I just want to say that from a you know from a competitive perspective, this tournament's been really great. Uh, as an organizer, you know most things have gone well. Uh, as always with tournaments, there are a few hiccups along the way, but I think we've learned a lot from last time, and for the most part, at least from what I've seen, it's gone smoothly. So I'm really happy. So hopefully this won't be the last time. There'll be more in the future. Um, I already know for a fact if there is one in the autumn, I won't be competing in it. Just I've got some other personal things going on, but hopefully then I'll be able to sort of take a step back and take a more sort of casting role rather than playing role. Um, so I kind of want to win this game just because you know I can go out on a high then if that's the case. But honestly, you know, um, I talk on my channel a lot about uh, Roscoe helping me out a lot. You know, I mean Roscoe is like permanent co-host at this point, and. Um, of the channel and we have a lot of discussions about the game we played a lot of games and warecraft i often talk about how warecraft taught me how to play hunters in the very beginning so obviously beating him in the previous league was a, a huge joy um i wouldn't have minded losing to him because he taught me so much stuff uh, but the same for mr green really i have i don't talk about mr green so much on the channel uh, but i really should because uh, he's not you know he's not off on the channel as in speaking to me as often as some of the others um but we've i mean you'll know if you've been watching my channel for a long time that he, we played a lot of games against each other. Um, he really put me through my paces at the beginning when I first joined and taught me a lot of things. Not directly, not, you know, he wasn't like the sort of person who would maybe sit down with me and teach me stuff, but just by playing with him, I, I learned a lot of things from him, just like sort of like little comments here and there. 
um, and he's just an all-round nice guy. Um, and we always, you know, in the Discord, we've been having a little bit of banter, a little bit of mind games, but nothing, you know, nothing mean. Just, you know, always we always get on with each other. And he's been in the community a very long time. He's been here way longer than me. If you hear Roscoe talking, it's often... Um, he always talks about the three OGs, right? <laughs> Quincy, Roscoe, and Mr. Green were there. Um, so Mr. Green's around a long time, and uh, he's put in the hours. So I want to win, obviously. I'm a very competitive guy. I want to win this league. Um, but if I lose to Mr. Green today, because I've lost to him many times, my win rate against him is pretty bad. Um, but if I lose to him, honestly, I won't feel that bad about it because he's a really nice guy and uh, he's just been, you know, really sort of like pillar in the community and is always playing games, has always, you know, just been an all round nice guy. Um, so hopefully you have a really cool game for you. We'll have to see. I see some people are messaging me in the chat. So I'm going to pause the recording now, wait for Strider to get his whole s his uh, stream set up, and then we'll be underway. Okay? Enjoy the game, folks. Okay, right, unpause. Looks like we are ready to go. Good luck. Let's give them a good should be gentle off. <laughs> no. I have a league to win. <laughs> right, just gonna do standard setup. Nothing unusual. Right. Okay, so let's see what Mr. Green does. So, I mean, I'm, I'm at kind of the mercy of the cards a little bit at the beginning. So once we start obtaining... Uh, have I got... Is that a main shot? Yeah, I am. Um, once we start... Um, oh, that's a good... Okay, then. Yep. <laughs> Very good. Right, so he had, he's been thinking. I mean, that's good. I, I do that. Oh, it's a fucking wax cylinder. It's fucking excellent. Okay. I'll be able to use that early doors. Okay. Alright, cool. So he's not cheesing me with uh, UK stuff. Um, and that's good. Okay, well, that's a decent first round. At least I've got newspaper in the bag. So that's kind of important. Because um, there are some times where you're sitting there going, come on, newspaper, come on, come on, come on. And it never comes. Um, and you're just... Just really struggling at that point. Okay, two white ones. That's decent. Especially if I've got a horse out already. So that's cool. So it means I know I've got newspaper. It's going to re reveal it this day. So I have two days to get to whatever he's put. That might be okay. It might not. The thing is, because a Seward, uh, it revealed evil presence, I could actually move Seward up earlier to Paris if I wanted to. Um... um Especially if he starts getting really good items. I could... If he gets like a 3-2 ticket tonight, I actually might just move him straight up to Paris. Um, just to, uh, because Spain's ruled out, right? Spain's been completely ruled out. Um, uh, and I got all Hunter events day one, so that's decent. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, all right, keep rocking and rolling. Alright, those are shite. Uh, I might keep the dogs, actually. Okay, that's not so good on Godalming, but we'll roll with it. That's good. That's good. That's... well, he's probably not in the UK, but that's good to have, I suppose. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow! Double forewarn this early. Crap. Okay, so I'm going to have to get that treated. Right, you're going to... Do tickets. The reason I'm not trading here to Mina is because I don't need to, because I've got two disposable items. Okay, that's good for horse economy. Good. Okay, so I can go to Paris tomorrow if I so wish. Cool. Okay, so we've got one more ticket to find. My horse economy is pretty good. Yeah, I'll move Seward up, in just in case he starts like an Amsterdam start. Uh, he might take advantage of going to Spain now uh, because of that, but I don't really mind too much. I could use a wax cylinders immediately. Um, do I? Hmm. Well, we'll see. Oh, double horse. Okay, that's... I'm going to trade one tonight, but that's okay. Uh, I hope... The game isn't like buggy on your screen. It's a little bit buggy for me. I'll do one more supply then move up. That's good. Ho oh ho! 
I'll ally that. Uh, you shot supply. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, so that has to be traded. Hmm. Alright, horse. Ooh, I don't really want her to have heavenly host, so I'm going to probably do it like this. Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Not the best combination of items, but we'll go with it. Uh, let's use a bit of wax cylinders. Okay. Right. Um, she's got long night, so that's disposable. Now, uh, question. Do I get... I think I can maybe... Tr yeah, let's trade Lucy's Revenge and Escape Route around. What's he saying? <laughs> Very good. I have it like two like this. He's got to have newspaper. He must have newspaper. Um, I guess I try and get this last white one out. All right. Okay. Well, I know he's not hiding. It was a long shot. So what I can actually do now. I can. Uh, Supply once with sewer and then move up to 42 next day. So like that. Yeah. So I'll be in better range for when this thing procs. It might be Italy, which is a little bit scary. So I think if I get a hard scout, I will use it in Italy. Um... No, don't need that. Don't need that. Alright, okay, good arming. Good. That's a little bit nicer. I'll get rid of the crucifix and garlic. So I'm not doing anything particularly shocking here. Okay. Hey! Excellent. Right, I'll rule out Bari. Um. May rule out all of Italy. No. Okay. Fine. That's alright. Ooh, double steak. Yikes. That's not ideal. Oh, another hard scouts. All right. Um, I guess I do none, and maybe I do something like Valona. No. Okay. Maybe I should rule that. Oh, he could be an island actually. It's okay. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's okay. All right, let's try and get this last white one out. If not, I'll keep the. Yellow two. Oh well, that's fine. You're gonna try. Oh man. I wanna. I wanna keep that three two. Right. You need to trade with me now. Take one forewarned. Give you escape route. She can get rid of long night. Yeah. And then he wants to have a free slot so he can trade around. That makes sense to me. Uh. I'll. I'll show the escape route. But he doesn't know I've got a second one. Swinging them, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> hey, there we go. Excellent. So horses are set up. Um, so I just got to try and get myself as well prepared as possible for this thing to decide. So I got one more day before I reveal it. So I'm definitely going to move Seward up because um, he has three combat items. Um, it's possible. Uh, well, I don't know if he's in Ireland. But no, he's not in Ireland. Okay, so that's fine. So I ruled out a lot of the annoying places he could be in. Um, so I think moving up makes perfect sense here. I know I'm leaving Spain open, but that's fine. I can deal with that later. Uh, Union supply, and that's why you supply. I mean, I could have got a horse, which would have been really awkward, but I got rid of two garlic reefs, so that's really good for me. Right, Seward. Off you go, son, to Paris. Hopefully I'll just bumble into him, but I doubt it. Alright. And how's he supply? Oh, right, I kind of need that instead of the garlic. I'll get rid of one steak. Oh, double escape route. Okay. And you shall supply. Okay, ditch that. Okay. 
So I'm pretty well set up, I think. Um, I guess I try to make horse economy better, but if I end up with a yellow 2, I'm not going to be too disappointed about it. Both are good for me. Alright, that's fine. You need a ticket. That's not ideal, but we'll roll with it. Um, no rumor token, that's very unusual. Uh, I guess I could give something to Seward. Um, since he's full up. So I'll give you Speedy Telegraph. Escape route I can trade. Do I give Forewarned to Seward? Mm, I'll keep the Forewarned. And let's do a scan. He isn't there. Well, I'm not really surprised, but... If it's, I've got two horses. So if it's the East, I can probably move around quite well. Um... Seward can't really get very far, sadly. I'll have to like go to like 51, then rail across here. Uh, I can supply up in Munich. If he gets a horse, I'm really well equipped with him. Um, I could have used wax cylinders again. Because he might have now hid. Because he wouldn't expect me to use wax cylinders again. Um, but would he have risked using the wax cylinders? That I have wax cylinders. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Activate newspaper reports. I am recording, right? Yes, I am recording. Thank God. Okay. Uh. Oh, interesting. Okay, I've not seen that start before. All right. So Kadami can go and deal with that. I assume it's not a vampire. Alright. I'm not going to deal with it. I can move Sue to 51 and me. Okay. Well, that changes my plan. I think you supply. I think you have to stay put here. Oh, yes. Do I get rid of the Holy Circle? No, I think I stay use all my weapons. Now, I don't know where he's going. I kind of want to stay put in supply. Ooh, yeah, I like it. Oh, excellent. Okay, so what I want to do here is try to work out how far away from me he's got. So I think instinctively I just take 51 and 38. Oh no, wrong region. All right. The thing is, I have to go and do with Hamburg, so I'm going to have to move Mina up. I would really like to come across here, but I can't. I have to deal with Hamburg. Um, so that's first priority. So he might well wolf form now, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Um... That makes a lot of sense. Um, oh, in some ways I wish I'd kept the Holy Circle. I'm pretty well equipped though. Hmm. So yeah, he might Wolf Form now, but the cool thing is Wolf Form only takes him as far as 38. Um, I think I pass with you. Yeah. Uh, does she have an escape route? She has the escape route, right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, so Van Helsing is going to come across tomorrow. And you pass. Cool, nice. That worked. Alright, um, so I don't have any like really, really powerful cards. I don't have Renewed Vigor, I don't have Hypnosis, but I know where he is. I'm fairly well equipped combat-wise. Um, Lucy's Revenge could be decent if I can get Gadalming and like Seward into a fight with him, but Seward does has doesn't have very flexible movement, sadly. So I might actually have to stay put in supply for, with Seward for a couple of days, which is really not what I want to be doing, but... Um, he might go to 60 and then wolf form. So that's something I'm going to have to kind of bear in mind. Um, but the fight he's moved Gadami here means I'm in quite good position to check that. Alright. Okay. He didn't... 
Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, delete. I want to really check with Seward, but I actually want to supply, and that sounds a bit weird. But I need to kind of stay in this vicinity because of all this stuff, so let's apply. Let's get rid of a pistol. Chartered carriage, now that's very good for me, with Seward, yeah. And Mina goes to deal with Hamburg. Let's get tickets. He might wolf form now, which is a little bit scary, but and I have to roll with it. Now, question. Do I use wax cylinders to check what this is so I know if I have to burn a stake on it or not? Yeah, I might want to save the stake. Cool. I can delay myself. Nice. Come, delayed. Yes. Cool, okay. Uh, he might wolf form now because he might realize that I've got to deal with these encounters. Um, but it means he's probably gone to Leipzig and then Frankfurt. Uh, yeah, that's the only way he could have gone. He's definitely gone to Leipzig next. Uh, do I have a good... Yeah, I can rail here. Uh, I guess Sur can go and deal with 51. Maybe I should have dealt with 51 tomorrow. Um... Ha! <laughs> yeah, he might double vampire at some point, uh, which is a little bit scary, but, you know. This is the early game, so I've got to just try and mop up these encounters as quick as I can. Um, what do I think he's going after 51? My guess would be into 60 and then wolf form. He's not wolf forming! What on earth is going on? Hmm. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, fam. Um, I'd really like to check 38. I need to deal with 30. Well, actually, no, hang on a minute. Think about this. Mina can go deal with 30. I could actually go and check... F uh, I can actually go and check this. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna be bold. I'm gonna check 38. Cause he might be here. Can I? If I can, Sue get here. No one. Fuck no. Let's check 38. I'll be a little bit bold here. Okay. Right, Sue has to go and deal with 51. And housing has to come over here. I got double four ward, a double escape route, which is kind of nice. Okay, so he's probably now in like Marseille or something. Uh, let's try and get ticket stuff sorted. And this way now Mina can just walk to Leipzig. It's kind of nice. Right, you're going to search this. How bad could it be? Oof, yikes, that's pretty bad. I'll absorb it. Nope, you don't have to do anything. Um, so Godalming can be aggressive and move forward. Van Helsing can be aggressive and move forward. Um, kind of need psychic scans here. I guess I check 37. Because I know then he can't be in Italy. Because if I check 60, that doesn't help me. I'm going to go to 37. I mean, he could have gone, like, 24, 36, 50, 25. I doubt it. Sure, he's going to wolf form now, right? Unless he's backtracked all around this block, this area, but... thirty twenty one can be dealt with. Hmm, 
Yes, Suit is a bit low. Maybe I supply one turn and then move? Hmm. Tricky. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I haven't revealed too much to it, apart from the fact that I've got rid of uh, Holy Bullets. Yeah, mob hit me pretty hard there. Still no wolf form. Fucking hell, man. I I think he's in 54 right now. That would be my guess of where he is. But I think I have to check 37 anyway. <laughs> no, skip. Skip. Right, let's get Godalming to 37. I can rail up to Paris if need be. Right, so he might now be in the boot. Um, I'm going to supply one turn, then heal, and then deal with uh, 21. Oh, that's good. Let's check out Marseille. Because he might be here. I can escape through out if need be. No. Okay. But I'm closer to the action, so that's good. You can just walk to Leipzig. Cool. I didn't get the trail wrong. <laughs> uh, if need be, I can go and check 21 with Seward. If it's wrong, then it's 41. Uh, so both of them can deal with it, which is nice. They can get down to 20, 38, supply up, hopefully get the horse. Fuck. Right, I'm going to have to use the rifle here. Yeah. Yeah, that's gnarly, that one. That's kind of bad. Um, do I search? Yeah, I think so. Start getting this stuff off. Oh. Are you going to heal? You're gonna get a ticket. And. Oh, you don't have to do anything. Sweet. Um, I guess I could forewarn something if it is another spy. Because she's got two white ones. I can't afford to lose them. One. Yeah. If Seward checks 21 is 21, then I can just rail with... Oh, not rail. Horse with Mina to 38 directly. Meet up with Seward there. We can trade stuff around. Give Seward the stake, because he can hold that, plus two combat items. So yeah, that's pretty good for me. Um, Gadalming and Thingamabob. Van Helsing can mop up Italy. He might be in 57, trying to wolf onto 59. But I can check that pretty quickly with uh, Gadalming tomorrow. Um, the question is, do I also go a little bit aggressive and try and catch him before he goes to C? Because he might now be moving to 20. Um, uh, one. I could also chart a carriage to 57 if he's in 57. That is a possibility as well. Hmm. Not very good options. I might have to escape, trade escape route to Godalming, maybe. So I'll hold off for now. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay then, so he's left from 25 or 57. That's good for me, because it means I can mop up and I can start supplying again, uh, without thinking... Because all this time I've been having to think about moving or supplying, now I can just supply. So that's cool. That works with me. Uh, nope, don't need to pay speed telegraph. No. If you need back, I can just supply with meter and 30. Right, you check 57. Cool. Okay, I know where he is now. So he's in the Adriatic. Right, you're going to have to check 21. Cool. So now Mina can just apply on the spot. So that is perfect, 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 perfect. I mean, I guess I could move it to 38 anyway. 
No, I want to trade with uh, Seward, right? So, right, you can preemptively move to 25, and I can rail up to 58 if need be. Right, you're going to try to get to 38. Nice. Horse economy is really well set up. Uh, who's going to do a 60? I guess Seward can. Are right, you going to check this? Fog? Alright, cool. Got rid of that, so that's good for me. Not many vampires. I'm kind of... Yeah, he's not used many vampires yet. Uh, let's check this. This might be a vampire. No. Okay. I have a heavenly host. So that would be dealt with, so no healing from that. We're already halfway through the game already. Jesus. Well, halfway. I mean halfway through before Fury kicks in. Time flies. Time flies. I'll reveal it. He's going to see. I don't want to heal off it. And... Huh. I guess you could trade the X and Weather. Get it off Seward. You can trade it to Gadalming, and he can make more aggressive plays. Yeah... That sounds kind of nice. And you do nothing. Alright, okay, well I've mopped up all his initial trail, which is good. Um, so we can go and do a 60. Uh, I kind of want to rail there, to be honest. Well, unless, unless he rails to 38 first, trades with Mina, gets the state, goes back to 60. Um, oh, interesting. So he's plop, plop, probably, probably, yeah, probably in Valona. He could be in Bari, but I doubt it, given this situation going on. Um, so I got... Well, I mean, Mina can go and deal with 60 if need be. Right, you are going to rail... Nope, you're going to rail to Marse uh, Marseille. To Munich... Makes my horse economy a little bit bad, but it doesn't matter. Uh, do I supply with you? No, I need to start moving over, right? Yeah, to supply. Nice. That works. I might take the horses off. Mina can do it with 37, or 60 rather. Yeah. Oh, wait, he could have gone back to Nuremberg. Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 He went from Strasbourg to Milan, it's, it's that. Right, uh, you should heal. All right. Um, how do I do this? I think you, you heal. And then you trade. Ah, you can't move much. Fuck. Do I trade the excellent weather to Godarming? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. To be more aggressive. Hmm. Yeah. And I think I might give him the forewarned, just in case. And then let's do a trade. How about you get a knife, and then you take this. Spread the white ones out. Yeah. Or maybe you get, like, double gun? Double pistol? Hmm... I suppose it could be another desecrated soil. Oh, then he gets free health.
So if he's paying attention, he'll see that I've... Uh, now, the reason why I'm, I'm using excellent weather here is because I can rule out Valona really, really quickly. I don't think you'd expect me to have that much movement. Um, I can then move Van Helsing in as well. Um, I need Charter Carriage. Ah. Yeah, Charter Carriage would be excellent in this situation. I might have to trade X and, car uh, X X and Carriage. Charter Carriage tonight. Problem is, I don't have Renewed Vigor. Renewed Vigor would be really good in this situation. My coffee is I'm not committing too far. I'm giving Mina back in reserve. I know I'm using excellent weather, but I think it's the right kind of situation to use it. He's getting no points from me, so that's good. Hmm. She has a stake, so she can deal with this. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I like it. If he has gone to Bari, then he's trapped a little bit. I'll be able to get everybody back in position. I could also potentially, like, threaten uh, to jump on him with Seward. But that wouldn't be too good. Could be a 1v1 fight. I mean, there's a, there's maybe the idea that I... Hmm. He's really thinking about this, huh? Is that? Is he trying to work out if he's wanting to hide or not? Huh. Intriguing. I've got Lucy's Revenge. I can trade Escape route if I really need it. Um. All right. Yeah, I don't have stakes. Oh, I've got. I think uh, Van Helsing has a stake. No. So I'm going to be a little bit aggressive here. I don't normally do this, but let's try it. And this way I know really quickly. I'm not losing loads of turns. Alright. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. You gonna ambush me? No. All right then. Let's go to forty-nine. I assume he's in fifty right now, but he might be here. Okay. Ah, you need to move and supply, and now ah, you need to move. You need to move. Non-negotiable. I was about to go to Milan there by mistake. Oops. Nice. Okay, so this can be dealt with. If he's put loads of fighting vampires here, then I am kind of in a bad spot. Um, I really need renewed vigor. Ah, cool. Alright. That makes it a bit better. So she could actually go and do a 55, potentially. So maybe I don't. Maybe I wait. Yeah, let's wait, actually. She can go and deal with it. Okay. Don't want to get a thing from you. You can get a ticket. Oh, fucking hell, that's terrible. I mean, it improves the horse economy. I'm going to move to Milan. Mina. 
Ooh, where do I think he is? I might play Speedy Telegraph, and I might, I might, I might, I might get lucky with Mina and draw a, uh... I mean, Van Helsing can do a 55. He'll get there in time. Let's see if I can get a yellow 2 ticket. So he can do with that. Maybe I shouldn't have used the um, wax cylinders like I did. Oh dear. I have no powerful cards. No CG, no renewed vigor. I'm just running around with two forewarns, hoping I can actually forewarn Fog. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I've definitely played Speedy Telegraph today. So Mina can go first. Supply, and you just never know what this is. I've lost, I've lost three hired scouts. Hmm. Charter carriage is on the wrong person, so I can't get Van Helsing into the fight. Which is a bit of a shame. I couldn't do everything. I might have to get Charter carriage to him. Tonight, maybe. If I could have done Renewed Vig, I could have traded it and then moved. Assume he's on a rail line. The fact he's taking a long time to think about this makes me think he's in a bit of trouble. He's probably trying to count w what are the possibilities of me jumping on him. I might have to be a little bit aggressive here. I think that might be the way to do it. Um, he might be sitting in 56 or 46 now. Okay, I assume he went to 50 after Valona. He's trying to work out where he goes next. You could be in 46 or 56 or 10. Um, if Van Helsing can't get there, I might supply with him too, if there's a, a hunter event on top. Oh crap, yep, saw that one coming. Saw that one coming. Right, let's play this. Right, Mina goes first, because she can supply. Ah, fuck. That's bad. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I know. It's not 100 on top, so there's no point in me... <sighs> right, where do I think he is? 10 or 56 or I think he might be... Ooh. Let's roll the dice. Right. I think he might be... Unless he's in 6, hoping that I jump past him. Is Munica Lair? No, it's not. Let's go to 56. Fuck. Bollocks. Okay. Well, he might be in 6, you know, so let's just try 6. No, okay. We move 1. Damn. Got a surprise in return, but no ally. Damn it. Um, nope. You really need a ticket. So you can get to this thing quicker. There's two of them to deal with. Fuck's sake, man. Hmm. Damn. This is going to be fun. He's probably just going to escape to sea and have, I've got two poxy vampires to deal with. Ah. That's well played. Now the game's starting to slow down a bit, because there's more stuff going on. I am very undersupplied. But that means if he's in... It means that there's a vampire's in 50. 
This is intent now. Does he have? Hmm, he's got good stuff. Ooh. Tricky. Maybe he's hiding in 46. Maybe when he... Ah, fuck. Yeah, he went to 46 or 3. Bollocks. Oh, well. It was worth a try. It was a good try. If it's not 46, I know it's 3. So, potentially Sue could get out of here. Um, Mina can move to 36 and supply. Right, let's roll the dice. Oh, I could have ticketed there. One idiot. Right, let's go to 46. Ah, he went to Athens. Damn and blast. Okay. So the question is, do I backtrack with you? I think so. Oh, well. That wasn't very good. He can get Charlie Carriage to get out of here. You're going to move to 36. Hmm. Let's get Charlie Carriage off you. Because all the people, you're going to need it. I think. Yeah. Pass. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Ah. He just took so long making the move. I just assumed he wouldn't have been in Athens. And we're taking damage, so that helps me a bit. I just wish Rufus was here, but is what it is. I'll try and get Kadalming to three, and I can move Van Helsing here. Um... Yeah, actually, Van Gadamin does have to try and get here. Cool. Because if this is fog, I need to have enough time to deal with it. Ah, damn. He went for the really obvious move, and I just assumed he wouldn't have done that. The fact he took so much time to think about it. Right, can I deal with these vampires? That's the question. Ooh, okay then. That's very interesting. <sighs> hmm. Yep, he was prepared for double vampire. I'm kind of pleased I didn't jump into that. But I could have heard him quite a lot before he went to sea, but... Yep, he's evading me. i got to make sure these don't mature. I might have to keep Seward here now. Cool. Bye-bye. Right, let's see. <laughs> well played. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Oh, you're not revealing it. Oh, what a prick. Oh, that really delays my possibilities. Shit. <sighs> Fuck. He's gained so much distance on me, but I have to deal with these. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm going to have to commit. I have to commit Westwood. I really hope I don't regret that. Right, you're going to have to go here. I'll imagine this is fog. I don't think it is. 
It is then fair enough. <sighs> right, okay, I'm gonna have to keep the escape route for later. Ah! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, now what do I do? I could have teamed up with it with Seward on this, and then... <sighs> Shit. Do I let this mature? Oh, that's another option. I let it mature. I guess Dalming could supply. Try. He might get a stake. Wait, do I just fight the vampire? I mean, that's another option. And I stake the other one. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, maybe I try and fight this vampire. Hmm. Ah, oh, fuck me. Just leave me alone. I mean, I'm mesmerized anyway, so that was a bit daft, actually. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, that means I might not be able to do either. Ah, oh, fuck it. Yeah, my only hope is that Gadalmin gets a stake, maybe. <sighs> Shit. I should have moved Seward away. Should have guessed it was going to be a new one. Damn and blast. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's going to do four. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, I might have to move Seward back. Oh, this is so bad. It might be necessary, though. Ah, oh, I lost two turns from that. Fuck. I'll stake this one and I can deal with the other one later. I'll just stake this one now and then deal with this one later. Let's supply with you. Shit! Ah, oh, I shouldn't have supplied. That's all the stakes, I think. Yeah. Oh no, I shouldn't have supplied. That was so daft. I just assumed it wouldn't be the one at the top. Right, okay. Um. Bollocks. Nah, I've committed to it. Let's, uh... Let's stake this. Ah, oh, I don't believe it. So that's one dealt with. <sighs> shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's bad. Oh, how did she end up with two stakes? Crap, I should have traded the stake to Seward. Ah, oh, I just assumed Zurich. I didn't have a rumor token, so maybe I should have just... If it was a vampire, I would have let it mature. Crap. Okay, so... Godalming can search in the day, and I find out what it is. And then I decide from there what I do. I might have to let it mature, which I really hate. Because what you could do here is land, wait for it to mature, and then instantly leave. Ah, oh dear. Oh, dear. Yep, yeah, he's probably in Cagliari right now. I don't know, that's the problem. I'm going to have to psychic scan. Could he be in Venice? He could be in Venice as well. Well, I'm, just, I'm never going to get a stake. So let's search. Right. Reckless. Okay. Do I lose Lucy's revenge? Hmm. Maybe.
No, I save it, I think. I save it. Right, now question is, I'm going to have to use Heavenly Host against it. When do I use Heavenly Host? I've also got a knife, so I could do Fang's knife combo. Oh no, punch, knife combo. Let's go for that first. Let's punch him first. And if need be, I supply, and then I have to fight it at night. I really don't like that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I just activated my chair to go down. Yes. Fucking excellent. Maybe I dodge now. To beat a fangs or a dodge of a fangs or a, a thingy out of him. Yeah, I'm actually going to go dodge. I think he's going to go aggressive. Because I have to kill it before round four because he might escape. Ah, oh, cop. I could have. I could have killed it. Oh, damn. Am I going to get this wrong again? Oh, I could have killed it! No! Oh, no. Shit. Do I risk the Heavenly Host? No, surely not. I think I play Knife. I think he's going to... I think he's going to... I think he's going to think that I haven't got Heavenly Host. I, I think he's going to play Fangs now, because I think he's going to realise the only way I can kill it. But the thing is, I've got a second day to kill this. Yes! Come on! Read you like a fucking book, mate. Let's go. Boom! Ha-ha! Fucking yes. Now the question is, do I try and heavily host him now? Uh, punch is useless. But then I don't want him to know that I have a heavenly host, do I? Hmm, I want to kind of save that information. <sighs> so I could move Van Helsing in to try and kill it. So I don't have to necessarily show my heavenly host right now. I can move Van Helsing in now. Yeah, I think I punch. I know that sounds really weird. But he might have no option. He might claw. If he fangs, then fair enough. But then he's down to two health. I can move Van Helsing in. I know punch is really weird. It's just I don't want him to know I've got Heavenly Hose. Because if he knows what I've got... Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. I fucking knew it, mate. I fucking knew it, mate. None of this bot. I mean, I could have killed it round two, and I was wrong, but he had double fangs. Right, he might escape his mist. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play Heavenly Host now. The reason why is because the only way he gets out of this, if he plays... Um, if he plays Escape his Mist. Now, would he play Escape his Mist? But now I can play Heavenly Host because I'm safe to show it. And if need be, I can move Van Helsing in now. Um, that's a little bit risky. Escape is missed. Yes! Got it! Come on! I am not... I don't want to lose this league. Come on! Got him! Heavenly host gob. I don't have CG, so I don't care. Thank you, thank you. So he's now going to have to reveal the other one, but I'll just try and get out of this. And Van Helsing can start moving away. He can move on to the rail line so he can um, rail his way up. Yes! Come on! Oh, come on! Let's go! Come on! Oh, yes! Uh, I might trade 
Oh man, now I've got to find out where he is. I might check Venice just to make sure he's not there. Because he could be in Venice. And I could trade the escape route to Seward if I find him. I assume he's on Cagliari. Oh, really? I'll piss off with that. Who plots first? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. I've been saying all tournament that combat has been my weakness, and now one combat has gone in my favor. I'm so fucking thrilled. Right, I think I just try and escape now. And then Gadami can supply, and then he can start horsing his way around. I need to get the third horse out pronto. So I've got way more movement. He might be on Cagliari, but I can't check. Yeah. Alright, that makes sense. Okay. I don't think he kills me here. Unless I am really stupid, I don't think he kills me. He can get me down to one health. Do I dodge again? He might play a second plotting. I want to scan Italy, but at the same time, Mina needs to supply. <sighs> difficult choice. Very, very difficult choice. You going to play plotting again? No. Nice. That works. You might find me to get one point. So let's think about this. If I knife You can get me down to four. Do I just try to escape? I think escaping's better. He might get one point out of me. But the fact that there's all of this all these ambushes and stuff going on, I'm so happy. He only gets one point. Yes! He doesn't even get a point! Let's go! Fucking yes! I gotta try and catch him. I don't have a lot of time to go, but I've bought myself so much time with this. All the all these vampires have bought me so much time. Yes, yes, yes. I made the right choice to move soon away. Whoa! And he can't hide because he's on the trail. So maybe I don't really care if he's in Cagliari. Do I just check 57 right now? So he might want to wolf form out. I think I do. Okay. Uh, you need to get on the rail line, son. And you're going to supply. Fuck me. Give me something useful. Stop it. <laughs> right. No vampires to deal with. Heal up is the name of the game. Um... You should pass. You need to heal and get a ticket. Ha <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I guess you... I think staying in place here is good, because he might have tried to trick me and gone Black Sea. I doubt it. If he goes to sea immediately, he might feed and then go to sea that he knows Kagliari. I can then move Gadalming around to cover that. Um, he's not going to be very high health, though, sadly. <laughs> oh, I want a nice supply, but I can't. Ah... Where, ah, uh, oh, where's a renewed fucking vigor when you need one? Or a CG or anything, anything decent. <laughs> I've got two full wands and lose his revenge. I might, not be able to, I might not be able to use them at this point. Ah, damn it. This acts as a deterrent, so that's kind of nice. He might have landed in Bari, but it's very risky. <sighs> Jesus. Alright, he's probably on Cagliari. So if that's the case, I'm going to start moving Seward forward. 
I, I could supply on the spot, but I think him moving forward to Mina is good. Because I could start trading stuff around, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now, what's the betting that Kadami ends up with double horses? If he does... That's kind of a shame. Yeah, I don't really want to supply with Kadami. Not until I get those horses out. If I need another item... Ah, ah shit. Let's go to Genoa. Supply. Oh, behind the veil. Very good. Oh, he's got double fog. I can take one of them away. Fog. Fog. RV. Wolves. And AV. Get rid of one fog. Name of supply. Yes! Come on. Uh, I don't know which stake I'm revealing. I think it's this one. Yeah. Yes! And sense of emergency. There we go. Now things are starting to work. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So now Kadami can supply. And then... Uh, let's think. Who's here? Supplies. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's right. Cool. You need to get a ticket. And you do nothing. Yes. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, he's using Cagliari. Right, okay, so I need to time this right. Godalming moves to Ionian, it moves one place. Godalming moves to Trinian, moves one place. I land. Right, I've got one supply with Godalming, and then I can go into the. Now I can go to sea. He might put a rumor on it, which is kind of scary. If need be, I can maybe send Mina over to stake it. Let's see. Let's see if he does it or not. No! Okay, right. So, if I need to let it mature, let it mature. Right, I'm going to supply one turn. Nice. Give myself a gun. And good luck. That's kind of crap, but never mind. So he's moving westward now. So I need to start getting in position for that. Bollocks. I can supply with Mina, I suppose. Uh... Speed is a life! <laughs> oh, fuck me. Well, honestly... No, I'll, I'll do a trade. Oh, now I've got Mystic Research. Oh, fucking yes. Right. Brilliant. Uh, oh, I don't even want to view any of these. I guess I reveal a sense of emergency. Yeah, okay, you're going to heal one. You, I guess you getting a good real ticket isn't terrible, because you can get into Spain quickly. Um, you need to trade for Mystic Research. So we can supply on the move. And you're going to trade with Seward. You're definitely taking a knife, and you can take the stake. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Ooh, okay. So Gadarming deals with 13. Van Helsing can get one, two, three, four. He can get to Genoa. And then play Mystic Research. Oh, his deck is reset. My god, he's rinsed through the entire deck. So this information I got from Behind the Veil isn't useful. He might get his third fog back. He might get the other fog. Maybe. He's been playing, playing very well. Very, very well. So he's Mediterranean now. Is he going to wolf form? That's the question. How likely is he that he's going to backtrack? Potentially quite likely. Is he going to go into Spain? Is he going to try to trick me and go... I guess I could scan along the way. I could check 20... Maybe... 
Yeah, maybe I should have moved Mina over to Italy so then he wouldn't go into Italy. I could have checked France and then checked Spain. Let's see, will he give me enough time to get to him? I assume he's going to wolf form now. And let's hope Mystic Research gives me some good stuff at the bottom. I mean, there is a possibility I let this mature, but... I don't think I will. I think I should go after it. If it's a vampire, I'll just let it mature. How much health's he got? Seven. That's okay. Shame he's got a forewarned. It'd be much better if I could get forewarned onto Seward as well. MP. No problem. Okay. Oh. Hmm. See, Mr. Green is known for backtracking. Question is, is he going to backtrack against me now? Layers are also important. Oh no, there's no layers which are going to be particularly useful in this situation. I think getting Van Helsing to Genoa is pretty important. I could use Mystic Research, but then I won't be able to use it only on Mina's turn. But I may as well just supply with Mina. So I've got a free slot. Suit has no event. I am actually being very undersupplied. Very undersupplied. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Well, the good thing is with this. What well, do I let Cagliari mature? Hmm. Maybe I do let him mature, or maybe I can get Van Helsing over there. Instead of saying Gadalming. And Gadami can actually... Yeah, I think... Yeah, maybe I send Van Helsing over there. Yeah. It, it, it would be more efficient, and then it means Gadami can move and supply and heal. And he's moving this way, so if... If Seward... If, Seward. if Dracula is being tricksy... Yeah, honestly... I think it might be worthwhile. Yeah. Yep, I think it might be worthwhile. I can then do one supply with Van Helsing and get over here. Maybe. Take your time. Take your time. It's a very difficult move, so don't worry about it. If he makes a mistake now, then I pick the right. You made my way. Yeah, of course, of course. I realize. Yeah, yeah. This is like a really cool part of the game, so um, I'm not. I am not in any way um, gonna begrudge him like thinking, taking his time. It's a really critical move. Really critical. How does Sud have no fucking events? I'm so, yeah, in terms of events, I'm not. The missing research came out at the right time. I really hope there's like six at the bottom or something. Do I scan Italy? Do I waste a turn scanning Italy? Because he might get into Spain and then escape again. And if I and if he stays in Spain long enough, Medtrain might come off the trail. If Cagliari matru matures and it's a vampire, then Med comes off the trail. And then he's always feedback. Mm. This game is in the balance. And now in retrospect, I'm really happy I did jump into an Athens, because that would have been terrible with double vampire there. And I would have rolled badly with somebody. I think it was Sued I rolled badly, so it would have been Gadalming on his own. So I'm kind of happy. That's a wolf form. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That makes perfect sense. Okay. Right then. I think we have to rule out Italy. Don't like it. 
I'm going to have to do it. So you're going to roll. Good, so I jump over all the layers. Off I go. Alright. I suit. Unless, do I check he's in Spain first? Maybe, honestly, that's a better move. That I get into Spain. And if he's not there, then I can backtrack. Yeah, honestly, I think that's a better move. Oh, I can't chart a carriage. Oh, because I'm putting a white one back in the pool. Oh, no. Right. Here's what I do. I play Mystic Research then. Right. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Oh, come on. My horse economy is not that bad. Oh, I don't believe it. Right, need supply. Oh, crap. How many were at the bottom? Oh, I got rid of a manual. Thank fuck. Okay. Oh, no. That's really bad. Haha, <laughs> no. Right. One. Fuck's sake, I don't need two of them. Piss off. Right, you need supply. Oh, can you just... You need a ticket. Oh, can you just... Oh! <laughs> Yes! Oh my god, come on! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh my god! I wanted to scan Spain! Thanks, slow horses! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh my god! I can't, I can't make this up! <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. That's unreal. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, I did three night supplies with that, so I've got one left. <sighs> right. Is he going to be able to have enough movement to get away from me? I'll save the last mystic research for uh, Van Helsing so he can get something before he goes across to Cragliari. Darming moves here. Where is he going to go? I wish I hadn't... Where is he going to go? He's going to have to go north, right? There's no way he risks going south now, right? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Yes! <laughs> wow! Fucking local rumours with a play of the game. Well, assuming I win. If I don't win. Um... I want to catch him with t at least two people. And really hurt him before he goes to sea. Hmm... Oh, why long night? Double good luck. Double long night. Why? Like, why do you exist? If I win this game, I've won it with, like, very little stuff. So, I know now, if he's in 15, the plays he can go to are 8, 39, 42, 24, 36. And he's used his wolf form. So I guess the thing I do is I check eight. I'll go. I'll move to eight with Seward and Mina, scan it, and see if he's still in France, and then go from there. I'm going to be quite slow catching him here. He's got hide though available, which is a little bit scary to be honest. I don't know where he goes in this situation. I don't know where he goes. Um, he might backtrack. But the thing is, this is off the trail. He can't get into Spain now. 
There's no point playing Long Night. Right, okay, good army. You're gonna rock and roll, get to 38. Right, you're gonna try and get to Bordeaux. He might have moved here, if he thinks I don't have forewarned. Okay. You are going to charter carriage away to... Oops. 25. This psychic scan is not going to be very impressive, but... Right, you need to try and... I mean, healing makes more sense. Uh, you do nothing. Right, you're going to supply once. Nice. Oh, come on! Yes! Oh, it feels so good! Um, and you're going to do a psychic scan. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. I can't get to Cagliari in time. I'm an idiot. I fight excellent weather. Cagliari's gonna mature. Ooh dear. Alright. Well, that means I can supply with him then. I can potentially do trades. Is he in 29? Maybe. Hmm. I think he might be going to 9. That would be my gut assumption about where he's going. He's going to try and head here. I could be very, very wrong. So I'm going to rail with Gadami to 51 and then go to 9. I think that's what I'm going to do. Ooh. But he could be going to 60 and then I jump straight past him. I've got movement. This is going to mature. I really hope it's not anything really bad. If it's a hoax, it could be potentially game-changing. That's my fault for not... Okay. It could also be hiding. Nope. Let's use Renewed Vigor. Right. Fingers crossed, folks. Build to Strasbourg. And then I fast horse. To nine. Oh, shit. He might have, he might have fogged me here. Oh, man. Backtrack to 9? 39? Oh, he tricked me. Well done. Do I try to get... Oh, Van Helsing is so low health. Oh, no. Well played. I try and get a ticket and I get 60. Ah, oh, fuck me. Let's move to 37. He might be here. No, okay. Hmm. Is he in Paris? No, surely not. Hmm. 
Is, is he hiding here? No, surely not. Oh, crap. Hello. Damn it. Let's forewarn this. Right. I don't want to fight him. I want to get out of here. So I'm going to do. I'm going to move to Genoa. Yeah, I don't want to fight him right now. She had it all game. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be bad. Clever. <laughs> right. Um, hmm, this could be bad, whatever this is. Oh, if he gets unearthly swiftness, it could be a hoax, you know. Wait. No, I did the last night. I did the night supply. I did the last light supply. Where the hell? He went. Oh, he went 24. Oh, okay. So you might go to 54 now. I went here, so he's not. He can't go to a port. Wow. Right, it all depends on what this is. If it's a vampire, I think I'd rather a vampire than a hoax, to be honest. I don't want him to get his wolf form back. There are not many places he can move to. He can only move to 54 or 60 or 24. Like if he's with Mina, I can get there with whoever I like. Yeah. Hmm. He might move to 54. I have to block Mediterranean port with Mina. Ah, if he gets his wolf form back. Yeah, this might actually be... It might be game, potentially, depending on what this hoax is. Mmm, if it's a hoax, I really hope it's something else. If it's Desecrated Soul, I actually would be happy about it. I didn't go to 9. Ah, I see, he's a sneaky bugger. I should have maybe just checked where he went from 15 first and then went. Ooh. Maybe I should have got a sense of emergency off Mina so then could, Van Helsing could have got into the fight. Oh. Right, keep your fingers crossed. What is in Cagliari? A bed of vampire. Okay. So he's got his wolf form back, which is not ideal. And now, oh yeah, 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 that's actually accelerated the game a lot. Right. He didn't misdirect. So only two places he could be. Zurich or 54. I'm going to check Zurich. I think it's more likely he's gone to Zurich. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm getting to a 2v1 here. Oh, come on, horses! Jesus! <sighs> Fucking hellfire. Fuck, that might be a game. <sighs> Shit. Right, you need to go to Marseille. Oh no, and he's, he's in an area of the map with so much stuff. I need to go to the Mediterranean port to block him. Oh man, this is really, really bad. This is super bad because I need to get ahead of him. 
And now he can kind of wolf on wherever he likes. Oh, this is dreadful. Oh, curse slow horses, seriously. Curse horses. Oh man. She's in 54 right now. He's probably got a wolf form here because he's got way he's got a lot more options. And I've used my sense of emergency, which is not ideal. He could go to Paris. He could go to 24. No, 24 is on the on the trails. He can't do that. He might go to 39. He might go into Spain. Oh my god, have I lost it? Maybe. Maybe. I might have lost it. Oh man, he only has to move twice after this. He's surely going to go into Spain. See, the problem is now I might. Oh, maybe I should have taken the fight with Mina. Imagine if he escaped his bat. Oh, shit. He's bought himself two days with that vampire. Oh, no. If he doesn't wolf form, I think I can kill him. I mean, probably the best I can do is a 2v1. That's the problem. I can, oh, the best I can do is a 2v1. All games, just all 2v1s. I can't... I need more than that. I need more than that. Problem is, if he's gone to 39, only Seward can get there. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, might be GG. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should move Kadami. Oh, man. Hmm. He's really thinking about it. If he goes to Paris, I can make it a 3v1. So I doubt he's going to go to Paris. Not would be his best move. <sighs> and that hides... Back off the trail as well. Yeah, he can just do donuts around me. From 54, he can go to Madrid, Alicante, Santander. So that's too many spaces for these two to check. He can go to f Paris, non. Ah, oh dear. Yeah. Don't know if I can win now. I'll give it a good go though. I might have to start night supply. Might be my only option. I maybe should be night supply earlier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 left. Ah, oh, it's normal odds. I've had like. No, yeah, I mean, that makes perfect sense. He will forms. Yeah. Where do we think he's gone, folks? Oh, there's so many places he could be. Oh my god. Do I check? Do I bother checking non? Oh, shit. Right, let's go to Paris. I didn't think he'd be there. Right. Do I think he's gone to non or has he played the safe move? Oh, 
Oh man, he might have realised that Nantes is the only place I can't get to. Oh, shit. Is he being tricksy? Madrid gives him more options. Uh, do I even bother dealing with this? No, I don't think so. Oh no, this is so bad. See if I get to Nantes. Nobody else can get there. It's only Seward. I won't be able to kill him. Maybe I should have blocked 54 instead, because over here his movement's more restricted. Oh, fuck. Um, so I can only get to Madrid, 47... Oh, where do, I, where do I think he is? I think Alicante is more likely. Alicante in 39. Let's try 39. Yes! Right, I've still got to kill him. That's the problem, but now I've got a chance. I've got a chance now. I'm going to have to go all out aggression. I don't have the movement, though, to get to him. That's the problem. I don't have movement. Mina committed too far away. If she had her sense of emergency, I could have gotten there. The problem is now, what he might do is just escape to sea. Alright, he's got another point out of me, but the point doesn't matter. Oh, man. I've got to really try to hurt him. I've got Aggie, though. Ah, oh, shit. So what do I do? I guess... Do I supply? I go and deal with Geneva later, if need be. Oh, man, this is... Oh, fuck. I can't get into a 2v1. Oh, come on, game! You've got to be kidding me. Oh, man, this game hates me today. Hates me. <sighs> hates me today. Oh, I didn't think my horse economy was that bad. Okay, it's mob. That's fine. I can deal with that. I'll just absorb it. Ah, shit. Right. I've got Aggie. If I can hurt him a lot, he can't go to sea. But then he might kill me. Hmm. <laughs> We'll, we'll ignore that one. <laughs> Man. Oh my god. But Oh, if he escapes his bat, then he gets points. He just wins. Oh, fuck. I'm in, I'm in such an impossible situation here. Do I just try to escape? Oh no, oh, this is impossible. Because if he escapes his bat, he just wins. Oh, but he has to escape his bat round five. <sighs> Man. Oh, this is so awful. Yes, okay, so that's one point of damage. Right, that's that. Oh my god. This is awful. I need to do so much damage to him that he can't go to sea. Can I even win? Rude, I'm thinking... <laughs> oh, no. But if he escapes to sea, I might not catch him anyway. <sighs> oh, man. Let's try the Heavenly Host. <sighs> I 
Ah, oh, I have to try it, right? I have to try it. And then I try to escape, I guess. <sighs> Fuck me. Alright. That's four damage. <sighs> He's gonna just break my rifle. I think I just tried to escape. I know it sounds awful, but I have to escape here. I've got no way to kill him. He's not gonna die. The way I get out of this is if I... Ah, oh, but he's just gonna... he's just gonna stop my escape. Man. Ah, oh, he might end up escaping his bat. Jesus, it's so hard. I've got to try and stop him from escaping. It's about round five or round six. Oh wait, if I get two more damage on on him, he won't be able to escape his bat. Oh, oh yeah, because of Aggie. So what do I do now? I've got to try and beat his strengths out of him. Right, I escape. Ooh. He might just try to bite me. He's down to four. Yeah, I should have punched him. Ah! Ah, I didn't think. I didn't think. Ah, I didn't think. I should have, uh, I should have punched him. Fuck. Ah, I missed my opportunity, I think. Yeah, because he might, he might bite me. And that's it. Mm. Things if I rifle him. Oh god. This is terrible. Is he gonna try to escape his bat round four or round five? I should have punched. I should have punched. I should have punched. I mean, he would—he would have mesmerized me anyway, so it didn't matter. But now he's still got his plotting. What do you think he's going to do, folks? He might just, he might, oh, shit. Do I try and bait something, I place dodge and try and bait something out of him? No, but I want my dodge available. Do I play rifle? Ha! Ah, this is so difficult. It's probably the hardest combat I've ever been in. He can win by clawing me, or he can win by, uh... Oh, if only I could have got a 2v1, I would have killed him, I think. Oh man, this is so close. You gonna find me? Yes! Oh wait, plotting's still available. Can you just stop? <laughs> I wish I had punched last time. So you wouldn't be able to mesmerize like that again. Right, question. Is he going to escape his back now? Surely not. Surely not. He must. He must have escape his back available. How about I dodge? But then he might just play escape his bat anyway. Oh, wait, because I'm mesmerized. 
Oh, I can't kill him. Oh, I cannot kill him. Oh, shit. Do I play dodge then? And then I just play rifle next turn. Maybe. Oh, man. If he escapes his bat, I, but I think he's not... I don't think he's going to play escape his bat this round. If he does, then fair play. Yes! I knew you were going to do that. Come on. So now I play right... He'll be down to one health. Oh, I think he will... Oh, no, he won't win. Right, I play rifle now. I think he knows I'm playing rifle. So he might play fangs. If he does, he's one point away from victory. And I've got a chance to catch him tomorrow. Yes! Oh, he's down to three health. That's actually... Well, that's actually worst case result. Oh, no, that's the best result. Oh. That was so tense. Whoa. He hasn't won yet. Do I heal? I guess so. He might go to C now. Do I try and get a better ticket? So I make it a 3v1. Yeah, maybe. Good. Because it makes horse it doesn't hinder horse economy. Right, what are you gonna do? You can go to non or fifteen or eight. Or he can go to C, but then he's down to one health, and all I can do is if I can get a CG, I can kill him. I can follow him with Seward. He might go to C. He might realise I can't catch him. I have to dig for CG and hope I can get it. He has to go to C. I don't think he wins if he stays on land. Because I can get a 2v1 in all situations. Unless he fogs me. But I'm going to have to really hope he does not have his fog. Oh, this is so close. And if he puts on a reckless vampire, he w he'll have to bite me twice. To he'll find me twice to win. Wow. Talk about being on a knife's edge. I could trade escape route to me if he stays in Nantes. <sighs> the thing is, if he goes to sea, I know where he's gonna land. The only way is if he puts down fog, I guess. It's the only way he wins. But he might not have it. Because I got rid of one. And the fact he's thinking about it this long makes me think he doesn't have it. Ooh. If he manages to fog me now, then he wins. The fact he's taking so long makes me think I don't think he has it. Now, he doesn't know that I've got two four ones. He saw me... Where's he going? Oh, shit. He's going to see. Okay. Right. So here's what I do. I just supply and try and get CG or Heroic Leap. And I can trade it to him. I send Seward over. Yeah. Anything I can do. Yes! K 
come on! Ha! <laughs> He can't go to non, so I just I put everybody into Bordeaux, and I I I uh, cause great grand go away. Let me just check. Has he got only one health? He does. He can't land. I've won. Come on! I am so sorry. I just drew it. Wow. Mm, maybe not. <sighs> Do not misclick. Do not misclick. Wow. I may as well just heavenly host this. <sighs> I'm not a night supply. I'm not doing anything. I don't give him devilish power, I don't give him anything. <sighs> Come on! <laughs> what a game! Holy shit! If this isn't an advert for the whole game and the whole tournament, I don't know what is. That is unreal. Only just what a game that is unreal. Mr. I mean, this goes to show Mr. Green that is why he's one of the best players. Because I'd probably say, from the results I've been seeing, he hasn't been maybe in, been in top form, but he has just kept winning games. And then the one game where it is so vital that he wins, he that's probably one of the best performances I've ever seen from him. <sighs> World champion! Now European champion! Let's go! Ah. Oh. Uh, yes, Strider. Give me two minutes to do my outro. Ah. Oh. Only just. Wow. You had me stressed. Wow. Serious, really, he is so good. Mr. Green is so, so good at making you doubt everything about this game. Ev so many games we've played together where he has backtracked on me, I was constantly having to think the entire time, is he backtracking? Is he not backtracking? Wow. I don't believe it. That is unreal. What an advert for the game. I don't even know how much influence he got. Eight, right? Eight or nine. I will check it afterwards. My god. Folks, if you're watching this, and you don't play Fury of Dracula, but you somehow stumbled across this video, this is why we play it. It is so good. It is so damn good. And honestly... That was such a good game. I mean, I said it before that I wouldn't have minded losing to Mr. Green. After a game like that, I, I couldn't have been mad. I would have been a little bit mad at the deck <laughs> for a couple of things, but then the local rumors went in my favor, and I got CG at the right time. So the deck suddenly swung back in my favor. That's unreal. <sighs> I don't know what to think after all that. Holy moly. I've kept my crown. Happy days. Wow, what an ending.
Let's see now, because also, I don't know what Spencer thinks of this. Is that enough for Spencer to get second place or not? He got a lot of ideas out of it there, Mr. Green, but I don't know. It would be enough. Uh, so, hop on now. Shall I keep recording, Maya? Um, oh, where can I find you? Wow. I am just... Just... <laughs> spent. <laughs> I need a holiday. I need my holiday now. Um, that is ridiculous. Um... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to stride it. You can... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause the recording. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. As such an incredible game, I might honestly just do like a post-game reaction to this myself, because there's just so much stuff going on. I'm going to pause the recording, see if Strider wants me to record this, and I shall... Uh... See you in a few minutes. If not, if the recording just suddenly stops, or I'll, I'll talk afterwards if that's the case. If that's the case. That's fine. Yeah, I better adjust a little bit volumes because you're talking uh, while in different ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I think everybody sounds okay on my side, I think. If people are watching this and the volumes are really skewed, I'm so sorry. I'm still going to try and get it right. Uh, I was thinking of going to Milan instead of Nantes. Where were uh, Van Helsing going if, if I, you didn't find me Nantes? Uh, I'm trying to remember where... We, oh, I'd even consider the possibility of Milan from 54. You could have gone there, because I would have. I was thinking that it could be Paris, it could have been Nantes, it could have been Spain. Um, I don't know where I would have been Van Helsing, to be honest. Um, Van Helsing had really crap movement, so yeah. he was kind of irrelevant um, in the whole situation. It was just the people with horses, but I kept rolling slow, so... Yeah. Well, yeah congratulations, my guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh that was quite the game. So congratulations to both of you. It was definitely fun to watch with Wheelcraft. Yeah, it was fun to play as well. I was uh, worried that uh, he would just squash me. <laughs> yeah, especially with those two vampires in Baltica, I was like, I could just lose the game right now if you if I don't deal with this. I was just the, one of the tensest combats I've had. Yeah. Whoa. I feel so bad for three you. Vampires in Baltica. Say again. There were three in Baltica. There were. I mean, I I knew they were and coming because you you'd save them all. I was thinking when you were fighting that. Sorry. On you go. On you go. Yeah, that we we were commenting on how that looked, and um, we were saying that it was very important that you kill the reckless in Athens right then because. You would have to fight the other one, and so it would have been very risky for you to have to try again. Yep. Indeed. And we uh, didn't expect the um, the heavenly host that you were holding on to with them. Well, I had no stake, so I, I, I realized I had to use the heavenly host, but I realized I only had one opportunity to use it. Um, I mean, in retrospect, I should have used it round two, but I just assumed he would have maybe fanged me, but maybe you're scared of like the the knife, perhaps. But this yeah, is like, I was scared of the knife. <laughs> mm, I just had to hope you didn't draw, like, Escape as Mist or something, so I could have got you with it. Yeah, that was very... I mean, I, I did have uh, an escape route on Van Helsing, so I was prepared to move Van Helsing in as well. If I got the vampire down, like, to, like, one health, I would move Van Helsing right. in. But it would have been a bit dicey, because uh, you didn't, yeah, have, you didn't have much health. So yeah. That It would have been a one-on-one -on -one either way, even if you had moved Van Helsing. Mm. And he had another... Did he have have another heavenly host at that point? Uh, he did. He had a rifle and heavenly host. Yep. Um, ah. Okay. But who knows? In retrospect, I mean, I, I was kicking myself for moving Seward away. Because I was like, oh, I could have teamed up on the new vampire with Seward and Van Helsing, then move Van Helsing to Athens to stake. But in the end, it all worked out. But uh, um, I didn't mean to give you the vampire uh, in Calgary. Yeah. So I had to move him away as well. And had so to I move. thought moving him away was had the huge advantage of moving him into position. 
deal with where Dracula was. I mean, if he had not moved away, then Dracula could have done something like landed at Genoa and then walked inland from there. It's just Mina over there. So yeah, decisions, decisions. But yeah, that was very tense. Yeah, definitely worthy of a championship game. So thank you guys. It's so like, we were getting very excited, especially um, towards the end. Yeah, uh, because it was a fun game for, to play as well. Yeah. Well, if you escaped as bat, uh, uh, this, oh, sorry, um, Weircraft is saying you would have won if you could escape yeah. as bat. You'd move twice. Yeah. yeah. Cause, um, but I, I, I knew he had to do that too because I suddenly realized, yeah, because you'd have got three points for escape as bat and then the normal move. But I don't know. I assume you drew it, but maybe you're worried to play it. But hence why I played like the rifle. And I had to hold the rifle as long as possible and make sure you didn't break it. Um, yeah. I mean, Aggie was in play, and but you, would, you had enough health. We would, so it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. So we were saying there on round five, if Scott Sword plays a knife, and even if he has Bowls Escape as back cards, if the first one runs into the knife, then because Sister Agatha is in play, mm -hmm. the second one will work, but it will bring him down to zero health. Yeah. Right, yeah. that early Aggie draw really paid off for the scare. <laughs> it, she was waiting a long time to become active, um, and she came in clutch at the end. Um, yeah, I was more hesitant to getting into combat in the early game. Hmm. I'm ready, so. And the fact that you were putting down like all your like non-vampire counters, like, well, you're going to start throwing down vampires eventually. That's the strategy I often do, is throw down rumor tokens mid-game. Um, um, I, I had like double stake on Mina, so I was like, that's the one person I don't want stakes on, but yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't mean to give you the vampire in Cagliari. I, I, was meant to, I meant to go over there with Van Helsing, but I miscounted my turns. It was only then I suddenly realized, oh, wait, I can't move there. I don't have excellent weather. Oh, well, I'll just have to supply then. <laughs> I just hope it's not too bad. I mean, I don't know what would be worse, a hoax or an arist or a vampire. <laughs> you had a bloody forewand on Mina. I, I, was, uh, <laughs> I was worried at the start of that turn, but uh, when Mina went in there, I was, I was thinking, yes, I won! But no. <laughs> mm. So I don't know. So what? A forewand on Mina! Yeah. Well, what I actually did was she drew the first forewarned. Yeah. But then she drew a second one, and I took the okay. first one off, so you wouldn't have known if it yeah, was the yeah. same one or a different one. <laughs> so, uh, who had the other? Godalming? Uh, or, uh, Godalming had it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was, uh, I was kind of thinking uh, Sue had had it, since he was on the right side of the map. Hmm. No, he had a long night. <laughs> just done. <laughs> the, the missing research was like the worst. Apart from the local rumors, I got like long night and good luck. I'm like, this is not what I need, folks. Like, <laughs> uh, the local rumors came in clutch. I actually generally wanted to search Spain. I was so angry that Mina didn't get that. My horses were all. I mean, I didn't think my economy was that bad, but yeah. the horse was just all over the place. And I had like very little. I only had one sense of emergency. And I had to use it on Mina to get ahead of you because I didn't want you to get to yeah. the, the Barcelona port. You just would escape to a Mediterranean, that would be in GG most likely. Um, but then I'd used it, so I couldn't get to Nob. So that's why the fight with Seward was just so awkward. Yeah. Oof. I'm just like um, the, spent. <laughs> how did you feel when you um, when you slow rolled your horse and then you drew into the um, the local rumor? I'm curious. Uh, to hear your reaction to it when you when that actually worked. <laughs> I, I was I was I was I think I was ecstatic. I actually can't remember. Everything's now a blur, to be <laughs> honest. I, I I was probably ecstatic from it. Um there's that a little bit of sort of cheeky deck working in my favour. Um I mean same with the CG, I do feel kind of bad because um I realize you've gone to sea, it's like well you've got one health, so the only option is that you go to Ireland. And I might be able to be in a fight with Seward, but Seward only had a rifle. He had a stake. He had nothing else. Yeah, yeah. Um, On one hit point in five rounds, that can be enough. <laughs> yeah, it, it might be enough, especially with Aggie in play. Um, so I was just like, well, right. I'll move right. I'll move Seward away. Yeah. Kind of need to break the rifle early to prevent you from... Yeah, that's the only thing you could do. Yes, yeah, so I was like, well... I'll move Seward into the sea, oh, yeah. I'll just spy everybody out. So then I got CG with Godalming first turn, so I, oh, well, now the deck's working for me. Okay, crap. <laughs> yes, yeah. and another thing there was, you know, if when you were supplying, or from before, if you had, like, 
any combat card, Stuart, I think that would have been enough. Heroic Leap would have been enough. Probably yep. Planned Ambush, too, because if, like, with Sister Agatha in play, a punch does one damage against anything but strength. Mm. And if you have a Planned Ambush, then if Dracula opens his strength and you dodge it, unless he has both strengths, then you just punch him to death the next turn. Yep. And then there's um, Lucky Find. Yep. I don't, I, I, none of it. No Heroic Leap, no Planned Ambush, no Lucky Find. Uh, I got the Renewed Vigor quite late on. So the, the turn I played Renewed Vigor, I got it the day before. So I wasn't oh. I wasn't really oh. holding on to a lot of stuff. That's the problem. I was, I was I I feel really undersupplied, and the, the events I have are not really what I need. Um, I was tooled up in terms of horses, but that was basically it. Um, I, in terms of events, I didn't have a huge... I mean, I had the double forewarns. I had Lucy's Revenge on uh, Gadalmi. Not that he ever got into combat with Dracula. Um... Uh, but I did feel really... It wasn't like I was sitting there with like a full rank of uh, events on everybody going, right, I've got loads of options here. I was like, I was really sort of like bare bones kind of thing. And that's why the renewed vigor didn't work. Once I realized you kind of backtracked on me, I was like, oh, crap, because I've now committed Gadaming out of position and X, Y, Z. Um, so it's a bit awkward. Um, you, have yeah. a, you have a habit. You, know, you, always, you always have it where you... Uh, you you love to backtrack. And I had it in my head, but I was like, yeah, but then the one time I think you're backtracking, you might have actually played the normal move. Um, <laughs> I think out of like most of the players in the community, I think you're probably like one of the best ones for actually backtracking at the right time. Um, well, uh, let's say I, I couldn't decide myself, so I used a uh, die to uh, decide how brave I was going to be to, when I landed from Mediterranean. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a six, so... Close to the hunter's days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in retrospect, not was a good move because, I mean, you weren't to know I didn't have any events, but from my side, it was the that and Alicante, because I couldn't have got anybody there. Um, it was only Seward. It, was, it would have been a 1v1 regardless. In retrospect, maybe I should have maybe stayed on Marseille with Mina to do some damage to you. But I just thought, ah, but imagine if this fight goes badly. I want to try and get into a 2v1 later, but then once if I never got, I never did get into a 2v1. So maybe I should have fought with Mina, got you lower, and then I would have restricted things a bit. I don't know. Yeah. I just went with my gut and just hoped it was right. But on another day, I think you could have easily... It was, it was very close, like extremely close. It was, and there were a lot of twists and turns on both sides. I, I don't think either of you can claim that luck exclusively favored you. Oh, no. No, definitely I can, not. I can claim it. <laughs> it might not be true, but I can. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'd be really intrigued to see. I'll, I'll watch, even though I've just played the match, I'll watch the live stream back. So I'll be really intrigued to hear comments on it at certain points. Um, it'll be really cool to hear your perspective on things. Yeah. Well, the excitement peaked up in week one once you played the newspaper report. Mm. And then we're like, like, you could be here where you're scouting numbers out, yep. where you could be and where he's going. Are you going to clear the encounters? Um, I know Weircraft is, was really impressed with the bats play um, in uh, Berlin early on. Mm. When you, when Dalming moved up, he's like, that's a great play by Mr. Green. It was really smart. And then the double the double vamps in, um, in wherever it was. The, uh, in in Athens. Athens, yeah. Yeah. That was, that was crazy crazy fights kind of happy I, I was hoping to get you when you when you were doing all that stuff from Valona to jump in onto you with the speedy telegraph um but in some ways I, i'm glad i didn't because it only be seward rolled slow and um, so it only been Gadalming. so but then again i had lucy revenge but still yeah the bat play was really cool because it, it forced me to commit mina up what i really wanted to do with mina was to move her across to munich to block that but i had to then commit M M mina up so it did open up quite a bit of the map for you um it's soon enough yeah, horses we at that point. On that. Mm. But it, but Alming moved to Munich as soon as he recovered from the bats. And so that, you know, I don't know what he had at the time, but uh, Dracula went round uh, Munich instead of directly to it. And that yep. would be very significant. Indeed. He also didn't wolf form early. Yeah, that's, I think that, that's probably the longest hold of wolf form I've seen, but it worked because you didn't n need it, quote unquote. Um, yeah. Right, although he didn't really need it afterwards, so if he had used it, 
Yeah. It's not like there was a time later where he really needed it because he was at sea and then at Cagliari long enough that he would have had it again by the time he got to the med. But then again, yeah, I mean, he didn't need it. He had it in reserve. That may have affected Scott Sword's play. I mean, I think overall, if you look at the whole game, there, there were a lot of twists and turns with the luck. I think Scott Sword certainly had some lucky breaks, but on the other hand, we were commenting on like, what if Scott Sword had CG when Mr. Green landed at Bologna early hmm. or later on, what happened? What would happen if he had CG when uh, Mr. Green moved to Toulouse right before he did that final wolf form to not. Yep. Yeah. Right. And we were thinking too, you could have hit in 54, did a, a hide wolf form. And then you'd have Scott Scott running all over the map, not knowing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it was also something I was thinking about, but uh, I, yeah, well, I wasn't brave enough to do it. <laughs> yeah, but then in retrospect, because then I think Mina then rolled slow, if I'm trying to remember rightly, and she ended up just walking onto Toulouse anyway. Yeah, she moved to 54. Yeah, from Barcelona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there would have been two encounters and a Dracula, so, and I would have had no way of getting out of the fight. I had no escape route or whatever. Um, and then you would have been right. Barcelona would have been opened up. Nobody would have been able to get there. So, um, yeah, maybe. Uh, one thing I've... Uh, did you misread your scan of um, with Mina in France? Because the moves you did you just after, they are the perplexed me a little. How do you mean? Uh, what, what scans I do in France? I'm trying to remember. When you scanned in France with Mina. 24. Yeah. And, and then I... So you should have known that I must be in the 24. But then you didn't move like I had been in 24. <laughs> mm. Yes. We were confused too. We were commenting on that. Because that try and, you did a scan. Try and and, and, oh, in Bordeaux. Right. Yeah, I think no. Scan and the only place it could be was 24. But then I'm like, maybe he's making a net. Yeah, you, you, we were scanned, you scanned with Mina and the, and the Sewer in Bordeaux, yeah. Oh, I don't got, remember. And, and you got a, a miss, so you should have known I was in 24. Did I? I mean, you'll see in the replay. I saw, I know I saw, you're I saw, oh, I'll have to watch it back. I must have missed it. Yeah, yeah. If that's the case, I must so, have. If I did, I must have misread the prompt. Yeah. So, so yeah. Otherwise, you would have killed me that time. So yeah. Oh. Maybe you just wanted to pr prolong the game a little, toy a little bit. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. If if. It, <laughs> Right. If if that's the case, then I must have misread the prompt. Yeah. I didn't even realize. Didn't even realize. Yeah. Yeah. You're moving away from him. Wow. Oh, where, where's he going? Where's, where's Seward going? Going on a journey. Away. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many games you play of this, you can easily misread the interface. <laughs> yeah. Well, plus it's a very high stakes, high nerve game. Yeah. Like, that was a stressful game. Um... Because it could have gone either way. It wasn't a wipeout. No. It was very not. balanced. And it was to the point where if Dracula escaped his bat, he would have won. Mm -hmm. If if Stewart couldn't get him down to three health, um, he he would have won. He had had a high chance of winning. Um, so, the CG saved you or saved you, yeah, I think. Yeah. I mean, it also um, made it way easier. He would have been able to move one more C and then it would have yeah, it would have come down to whether Scott Sword had money trail or whether oh, no, he, he didn't he, have money trail, but guessed right with CG. He had, one, he had one health. He wasn't able to move another sea space. So I knew he was going to Ireland. Well, yes. So Right. We're talking about what if he had ended that combat at four health. Ah, sure. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I know Rufus wasn't anywhere coming. So yeah, yeah. I would have been, I'd have been done Rufus, at that point. I mean, drawing CG there was obviously clutch, but in that alternate, like if he'd had, if he'd escape played, um, if it had gone differently, like if he played um, Fangs, mm -hmm. and he would have ended at four health, then yeah, if Rufus had come out, that would have been huge. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about whether you should start thinking about desperation night supplies because we thought you had. Weaker events than yep. average. Yep. Um, we are crap. I didn't know. I don't. I didn't know any better. I, was like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just along for the ride. Uh, so, yeah. I, maybe it wasn't desperation mode, but at the same time, all it takes is. I mean, Emmanuel got burnt, 
but all it takes is something like unearthly swiftness and then I'm just done anyway. But maybe I might just should have just rolled the dice anyway. Um, yeah, I figured that no, his... I, I think... Yeah, you... Go ahead. I, I just thought maybe I thought his movement was limited enough. Uh, obviously, if, if he'd gone to sea with four health, then I would have had to. I would have had to just dig and try and get Rufus out or something. That's the only way I would be able to win otherwise. So yeah, if I realized the game was lost, I would have done it. But obviously, it might have been too late by that point. Um... Oh. Right, you had a clutch um, mystic research that really helped. Yeah, I was so pleased. I mean, yeah. Um, the events you got were clutch. Yeah, I, I got the mystic research at the right time, but then if you see all the cards I got from mystic research, the only one that proved to be any help was the local rumors. Right. Everything, right. everything else was just, yeah. But if I didn't That's have mystic right. research, I wouldn't have got it. Yeah. Right. Hmm. So that was insane. Um very very close very crazy game um and an interesting place down in um in baltica i, I want to make sure i call this continent right when he went to athens instead of going up east mm. and did the high yeah um it was it was very gutsy but very effective mm -hmm. um and, that, and i was i was talking to weircraft because that he ended up really weakening godalming and um van helsing down to like I think it was three and two health or four health. Yeah. So I think he could go to the Black Sea, and then come back on land, but you know we we thought that'd be really gutsy if you even considered that. Yeah. And all it takes is a CG or something. If I did have CG, and then it's kind of. But then it would have taken me a long time to realize that, um, because. It's, with horses again not working, I couldn't get Sud and Mina to scan Italy the turn I wanted. Um, so that was delayed. Uh, I just realized that eventually, if he did go to Cagliari, it would come off the truck because there was no hide, so it would just be a feed and then see, and then I would have known it instantly. Um, yeah. Uh, if and it clearly won in the game. Yeah. Yep. Cagliari. Yep. Absolutely. Because that board him, that was two days fewer. They had to move. I was planning to deal with it with Godalming, and then I was like, Oh no, I, he's got horses. No, I've got Charlie Carriage. I can get Van Helsing there and then get him across. I just miscounted my moose. And I just yeah. suddenly realized, oh crap, I can't I can't get to Cagliari in time. Oh well, I'll just supply and just, <laughs> just hope I get something good. Um, I'm still now... I'm, I'm you did, in the end, that extra supply was what brought Consecrated Ground up yep. closer to the top so that you had it at the end. Yeah. Yep. We both uh, thought that uh, Cagliari had a poke. Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh. I don't know what would have been worse for me. Um, I mean, they're probably both equal in terms of annoyance. Um, yeah, I can't recall if I had a room or when I landed. Uh, then I fed and uh, moved to sea, so I couldn't place after that. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, and I was kind of as soon as I saw there's no room, I was like, well, I don't have to rush to deal with it. Um, in the end, it was probably a good thing. Um, but. I'm not still. I'm so, now constantly thinking back to that psychic scan. If I missed that, there was a, the psychic scan was negative in France. That would have saved me so much bother. Um, yeah, you would have probably killed me that round. I'll, 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 I'll have to. I'm gonna have to watch it all back. You had very yeah, limited you're gonna spaces. Gonna, um, yeah, you're gonna hit your head against the wall when you see. <laughs> wow. Well. Well, uh, well. Te technically speaking, maybe it was good for you that you missed it because if you had gone in with anyone else but Mina, no, okay, Mina or uh, more Godalming. Yep. Then, uh, then it would have been good for me if you found me. <laughs> mm, that's true. That's true. Um, but then, would have Godalming yeah. checked yeah. Marseille first? Unlikely, because if I'd seen you in Geneva, I would have been more scared of you going to somewhere like I don't know where G I don't know where Godalming was at this point. But I would have been more scared of you going to somewhere like Zurich. I think uh, it was in that, uh, that Ah, so that was the turn I renewed Vigood. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I probably would have done Milan and Zurich with Godalming, most likely. Yeah. And then... Yeah, the, but who knows? And uh, renew trigger, uh, renew Vigood trigger, then I thought I was dead, because it was... Like, yeah, he knows where I am. <laughs> it's like, I have so few spots I can be on. <laughs> ah, jo joke's on you. I did know where you worked. I did clearly, I clearly did read the interface. I'm going to have to watch that back. If I miss that, that's that's rather funny. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, though, like if I lost the game because of not reading that properly, then that's just, that's deserved at yeah. that point. Um, 
That's like twice now, because in the game against you I was playing as Dracula, I misread the interface with the rumor tokens as well, and that potentially cost me the game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I need to, I need to, I need to go back and like listen to my own like guide videos, like read the interface, do combat well. I'm clearly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've never known about that uh, interaction either. That you just can place one at a time. Hmm. I in the video it was easy to see what. Yeah. <laughs> but I was just so excited about my plan. I was like, oh yeah, double click. There we go. Oh, what's it doing? Put the rumor took on the wrong thing. No. Oh, no. no, it didn't. You just went, you're an idiot, and you didn't look at it properly. <laughs> ah. yeah, congrats on that win, though. It was, it was very close, very well fought. I Absolutely. think you're going to fight um, Pizza Wizard to see who the Supreme... Uh, well, that would be cool. I mean, I've been saying to Pizza Wizard for bloody ages that we need a game anyway. Uh, we haven't played in so long. Um, so if we can use this as an excuse to play a game, then I'd be totally up for it. Uh, we'll see what he thinks, so we can make it a grudge match. Um and see, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be kind of cool. Yep. And then uh, I can, I can face. I'm in last place. Don't forget in the tournament, so I could always face the last place person. But <laughs> play for the ul ultimate wooden spoon. <laughs> um, I'm waiting for that delivery to come in. Oh, it's um, good. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. Um, wow. But well played, Mister Green. It was. We did not know. We were trying to guess where you were. For a long time, Weircraft and I were like, "Where is he? Yeah. Where would you start?" Because you had that start picked out right away. It was there was no thinking. Mm -hmm. um, at the start of the game, you're like, "Are you what? doing the normal start, the Scott Sword start?" And then you knew where to go. I had been thinking about a lot of thoughts, including uh, Teen Wolf, but uh, oh, I went with uh, take a hard to pick for. Uh, Hidden Scouts. So you got a lot of Hidden Scouts. So maybe I did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I got three of them out early. Yeah. Um, you never did Amsterdam. No, I never did Amsterdam. No. You preemptively pre removed the uh, sword up, though. Well, it's only, only because of the Evil Presence. If I hadn't got Evil Presence, I would have never have moved up like that. Um, yeah. And also the fact he was supplying well. If he was getting dud items, I would have never moved him up. But the fact he got, I think his first four supplies were... Heavenly Hose, Holy Circle, Pistol, and something else. I think it was like a rifle or something. I was like, well, I'm pretty well equipped. Let's move up. And it means if it is Amsterdam, I can get to it. Um, yeah. I've got another hunter close by. So even if, I, if there is a bat or something, it opens it up for me. Um, not knowing that you didn't hide, you didn't hit, you'd hide early, held me as well. Um, um, but yeah. Sneaky Dracula, always, never know, especially Central Europe, I think that's something like, it's a very underappreciated like art, I feel, um, making Central Europe work, and you've done it now twice to me, um, in particular, the one that was like doing like the analysis video, and now this one, where you're just backtracking all the time, I'm just like, I'm not quite sure where you're going, and you can never be sure, there's so many connections. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I was surprised you didn't move Godalming uh, to when when he was sitting in Athens to go to the Ionian uh, to the Tyrrhenian and then to land on Cagliar to take care of it. But you went up and around instead. What yeah. Was your thought process for that? Well, my original intention was to go to Cagliari with Godalming, but then I realized, well, no, Godalming's got fast horses. So if if Dracula's going to land from Mediterranean, I'd rather have him in Munich, so in position to cover you know, and, and a wolf form into Italy. Um, okay. and, and I could have healed on the move. Whereas if I'd gone to sea, I would have been still really low health. And I, I was, I was well, in trying to plan my moves, I think, oh, I could, I could get there with Van Helsing. In the end, I didn't. I don't know why. I must have missed a move somewhere, or I supplied when I didn't need to, or I just miscounted, which is very possible. Um, so I then didn't get there in time. That was the intent. The intention was to go and deal with it with Van Helsing. Um, I, just, I just miscounted. Um, which obviously would have helped save me a lot of bother because I was two days basically of movement in the fourth week that you gained from that. Um, so in respect, that mistake could have cost me the game as well. Um, so it definitely wasn't a clean performance at all. Um, but it wasn't four days; it was eight days. Sorry, wait, no, I, I um, well, sort of. I mean, because that reckless vampire point would have made it four, but. At zero, going up to four, it reduces from five days to three. Yeah, that's right. So it saved him like two days worth of movement in the fourth week. Yeah. 
the um the spies came out on Mina a lot in the early game. They really they were, were fans of hers. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's not, and then the mobs came out. Um, yeah. I didn't see any wolves or rats anywhere. Um, Those are weak. Or saboteurs. So. Those are also weak. Maybe Wolf. that's when you discarded when you got the um, desecrated soil. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would be my guess. Or just threw them into lairs. Mm -hmm. But no, it was a crazy game. Weirdcraft was going crazy. It was, it was very excited. <laughs> That's 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 gonna be a really fun watch this evening. I'm gonna have lots of fun watching that back. <laughs> yes, yeah. as, as soon as Dracula was there, he's like, he could be here, here, here. He's like, oh, this is gonna be huge. <laughs> I've never. It was so exciting. Um, it was just great to to commentate with Weircraft because I'm just you know the normal guy watching the game. You got the expert um, <laughs> who's just so into it. So Weircraft, thanks for like being here and doing this. It was really fun. It's very interesting watching the game and then hearing your post-game thoughts on it. Yeah. It's like, it could be a completely different world, right? Both players or either player, you could be sitting there as commentators going, oh, this is a good situation or whatever, and the two players could just be like really stressing out or because then you don't know what my events are. Yeah. Um, so you have no idea what I'm holding. Am I actually holding good stuff or not? And then the whole, the whole conversation changes around what I could be potentially holding. And then with drag, right. you don't another, know. It's not just, sorry, go ahead. Also, also just drag, like, what encounters he's holding on to, what he's throwing down in each right. space, right? Yeah. Right. And that reminds me, um, we were debating whether Dracula had redrawn fog that was discarded with behind the veil. Yeah. Yep. If he had, I mean, obviously that would have changed the end completely because yep. he, probably, he would have thought, well, there's a good chance they don't have the second forewarned on the right person. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I think that. Overall, I've changed my opinion. I do think that Scott Stewart had the better luck, although not by an overwhelming amount. That was very close. It was. Um, and there were, were a lot of interesting plays by both players. Mm -hmm. uh, like that, that move from Simon um, Ferrand by Mr. Green to Geneva instead of going mm -hmm. directly to Nantes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because it makes more sense, right? Port, you go to the port first. You don't go inland. Um, from a from a hunter perspective, I kind of twigged that maybe uh, Miss Green didn't draw the third fog, because I think unless maybe this is how I would have done it, but if you had, I think you would have gone to like the, the the amount of time you took to make the turn to leave from non made me think that you didn't have fog, and you're having to weigh up. What is the more like the what is the better chance that you survive? Do you try to outrun me in land, or do you just go to sea? Yeah. Uh, at least, at least if I was playing Drac, I would have just if I saw if he had a fog, and hope that stood enough forewarned, you just go for it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that behind the veil actually was really helpful. Yeah, even I had double well, forewarned. Yeah, Sorry. I was going to say, because I had double four wards, so on another day I could have maybe gone, oh, maybe I get rid of the vampire instead, because I can counter the fog. But I was like, no, it's just too likely that would be the wrong hunter bumbles into this fog. I have to get rid of one of them. Um, but if you had two fogs, right. then that's, yeah, I might not be able to deal with it. Now, yes, and another thing that I was thinking of when we were talking about the endgame there was there were two reckless vampires in Athens, and Oh yes, the third one was in not not yeah. He fought Seward before the fight with Dracula, so there was no no other one unless he redrew it. He could have because there were I think those two in Athens were out of the deck when the deck was shuffled. Yeah. So he could have moved to like Le Havre because that would have gotten him up to eleven, and mm -hmm. then he could have had the re reckless vampire ambush to try to get to thirteen. Yeah. Which would have been a real possibility if. Scott Stewart had tried for a 2v1. Yeah. So that was another possibility if he'd had one. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I don't know whether he had one, but I just wanted to mention that that's something that in these endgame situations where Dracula is at 11 or 12 influence, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll run into. That's how I won my own tournament game last time against um, Quincy. Hmm. Yeah, I did contemplate that. I mean, I was a little bit prepared because I, I could have gone in with Gadalming. And if there was one, um, then 
I probably would have just moved Van Helsing because Van Helsing had the right ticket. I got a ticket with him, anticipating La Havre or Bordeaux. Um, so and he had escape route. That's the only thing he had at that point. Uh, so, so I could have escape routed out, but then you never know, right? Um, if the combat with Kadami had gone differently, then maybe he might have got two fangs attacks in on me. The fact I've got a knife, unlikely, but who knows? It's possible. Um, so I would have then tried to, you know, make it as safe as possible and only move in the hunter with escape route. Um, but so then it, you're weighing up the benefits of the possible two v one versus the benefits of the possible second fight with the reckless. It's very complicated. It is incredibly complicated. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't redraw the fog. I did redraw two reckless, so that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Three reckless in the deck? Uh, yep, three mm -hmm. reckless. Yep, three. Yep. Okay, well, I redraw one then. Ah, okay. Yeah, I saw that. There's one point. I, I was not keeping track of your encounters. And I know you hit me with one Discord Soul, which I dealt with. And there's a, there's a sunny point where you're at sea, and I suddenly looked at the, uh, the discarded encounter deck. I was like, oh my god, he's gone through the entire deck. I hadn't realized, I just hadn't, I just lost track of how much time had passed and how much land movement you'd actually done. And you just rinse through your deck. I was like, uh oh, this is. Yeah, you could have a lot of good stuff to throw at me. Um, so, yeah, very, like, as a, a real testament to you to have stayed on land for as long as you did. Um, and, you know, your encounter economy was just really efficient um, to get through everything. So, yeah. 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 Very good. Weirdcraft, Weirdcraft was saying that. I said, what, what side do you think is favored right now? And it was it was close the whole game. We couldn't decide what was better, um, because Dracula was was doing really well in terms of yeah. staying away from the hunters. Um, but Scott Sword, you were cleaning up all the encounters on your way. Yeah. Um, and then we're getting to the last week, and he had he had a lot of health left. Hmm. He had like ten. Yeah. As a as a hunter player, if you're sitting there. And you can see things like if you've got a CG and two renewed vigors and this, you know, then you can be not reckless with the events, but you can like be a little bit more. Um, well, I can use one renewed vigor because if I get caught or I don't get it right, well, I've got another one to back up. But if I only had like one of everything, I was like, I have to use these events like so carefully. And that might be why I potentially missed the psychic scan thing. I was probably already thinking ahead to using renewed vigor because I just obtained it. Um, rather than actually looking at where the scan was. Um, so that's potentially what was happening there. My brain was doing two things at once, neither of them very well. Um, but yeah, it's it's not a good position for a hunter to be in where you're having to think so carefully about what events you're going to play at what time because you haven't got a lot at your disposal. Um, as Dracula, you just have to try and survive the onslaught. And then you know then as Dracula, once you get out, if the hunters use everything on you and they don't kill you, then they, they've, they've, they've used everything. They haven't got anything left in the tank to catch you. Um, right. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are fried. Um, yeah. Thank you, for, just a touch. thank you for having such a great game for us to watch and commentate. I'm honored. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Green, for just putting up a great fight there. Um, yeah. It could have gone either way. It, yeah. it was completely agree. We thought we thought for sure at the end. Once you once you got that wolf form back um, from the Cagliari mature, mm. we thought that was it. We said, "Oh, he's he's going to go east, or he's going to go somewhere and escape." And Scott Story can't do anything. We'll see. Yeah, um, I thought yeah. I had a quite good odds, but uh, he deduced where I went. So. <laughs> <laughs> We enjoyed the banter for sure. Um, it was very fun to read the back and forth. Um, but thank you guys for everything. That, um, I, I do have a stream on my channel. You can always rewatch the whole thing. Make sure you click the live because it's not a regular video. Mm. Um, it's under the live section on my okay. channel and you can find it. And I'll share it um, with you guys in the Discord later. And well, just, when, when, when this video goes up, I'll put the link in the description so then everybody can go back and you know check your thing if they watch my video and then they want to hear your reaction though um i can i can send them over to your channel but thank you very much for just you know for for you strider for doing all your streams anyway uh during the tournament but for streaming this final game and yeah thank you Warecraft as well for teaming up for the epic commentary team there and uh, i'll be really keen to hear your thoughts on it and see it as a 
as a third, you know, as a third person perspective rather than that I'm actually in the game. Yeah, very, very, cool. very cool. Yeah, thanks. Congratulations, guys. Yeah. Um, Thank my you. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. It was a great game. Worthy worth, worth, advert for the game for sure. Well, I mean, you're, you're talking to your second place people, Scott Stewart. You got your weircraft here. <laughs> <laughs> And the, and these, these are the two people who, I mean, apart from Roscoe as well, these are the two people who taught me everything I know. <laughs> it's all ba it's, ba it's backfired on them. <laughs> yeah, big time. Yeah, you're never going to help anybody else in the community out again. No, 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 you have to, you're going to have to learn by yourself. <laughs> uh, but really well played, well done. Thanks for organizing the tournament, uh, the Scott Sword and to, um, Peter uh, Lee. That's really nice of you. Oh, you're most welcome. Yeah. Most welcome. All, all the work. Yes, no problem. Well, there'll be another one. We're going to have to have a break. I think we all deserve it. But there'll be another one in the autumn. I'm saying it now. I think I've probably said it in a few videos, but I will not be competing just because I've got other stuff going on. But I'll be quite keen as a sort of a caster perspective to see it from that side rather than compete. But, uh, yeah. I mean, you, you, I mean all, all three of you will probably be pretty pleased. Oh, thank God he's not in it. <laughs> yeah, you, you feel confident now that I am the best player, so I don't really need to compete anymore. <laughs> Just let all these plebs carry on. Nah, my joke, my joke. You two have pushed me. I mean, that that's now. I mean, I mean, Warcraft and I, we were only decided by IDS in the last league, and then now this game, Mr. Green, whoever won it, won the whole thing. So it's uh, pretty ridiculous. Really close all the way. So yeah, really good advert for the for the game as a whole um, to have this level of competition. It's really, really great. So thank you for competing. And for helping out and all that sort of stuff. Yep. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Take, <laughs> take care. Uh, bye, everybody. Care, bye, bye. Bye. Well, folks, um, that's the, another tournament done. There are a couple more games still to play, but for me, that's done. I can't believe I missed that. If there is a psychic scan, which I miss, that will be, I expect, loads of comments about that. Um, even I was like, oh, I'll boof her and do Psychic Scan, and then I didn't read the Psychic Scan, apparently. Well, well, never mind. So, um, whew, I'm going to go and take a long rest. I think I deserve it. But thank you for watching, everybody. Um, there's going to be a playlist on the channel of all the games from this league, so you can go and check them out. And yeah, if you're watching this at some point, if you're, oh, what's all this community and tournament stuff going on? We have... Um, there's the, the Discord community that we're all part of is was created by Nomad Games, the developing company who created the digital edition of Fear of Dracula. And um, so we find players on there. Um, and then, you know, if there are any more tournaments organized, it'll be all organized through the Discord. I will advertise things on social media, on Steam, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but, you know, the Discord is the place you'll hear it first. So if you're interested, come along to the Discord. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. And... Uh, the next tournament will probably be in the autumn, probably starting around beginning of September, more or less, uh, over the summer months. I'm going to take a break now, but during July and August, I'm going to start organizing it and have the signups open for it. Uh, but even if you don't want to compete, doesn't matter. Come along to the, the community, say hello. We're, I think we're really nice to new players, and we try to help them out as best we can, and uh, just have a nice community vibe. Um, so, yeah. There's not, ma there's not many of us. We're quite a small community, but that's really good, because it means then you know there's a more sort of more relationships between the players and we can really help out each other a bit more and then some of the names and voices that you know or i say yeah the names and voices you're seeing on my channel and hearing on my channel you'll know then if you um if you come into the community and you see one of those names you know oh that's a friendly person i can go and play with them okay so i'm gonna stop recording thank you to mr green that was such an amazing game really came down to the wire you really saw how like the stress of everything really took over um i don't think i beat strider's outburst but European champion. Let's go. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.